today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and if you have been here before, you might see that everything looks different behind me. I think this will be the first video that comes up with my new setup and I, I think it's going to be a little bit maybe not that good with the setup and everything in a couple of videos now, I don't know, I'm going to test something out, some things out, and I just still want to record and I still want to post videos, so yeah, I will do a get ready with me and talk about, about this more and why I changed the setup and everything, so just bear with me, I might have it like this, in the viewfinder it looks kind of good, hopefully it will look good when I edit, I don't know, but <laughs> just bear with me, I, I think things are going to be more good in the future. Enough about that, because today I am going to do, <laughs> I started this such a long time ago, I like want to recreate older looks and I think I only have done one video, yeah one. And I want to do more, uh, so I'm going to do my second part today, and I am going to recreate uh, this look. This look I did in July 2018. I got inspo from, her name is Sandra Thor, I think it was at least. This was three years ago, just re remember that. I think it was a look I saw on Sandra Thor. I can leave her Instagram down in the description and I just thought this looks so cool. So I want to recreate this look or do it better. <laughs> like I don't really know, I think it looks good. I think it's a cool look but I think I can do it so much better now and I don't even remember which colors I used in that look but I have taken these colors from Lethal I will write the names down in the description because I don't know if I'm going to use all of them. And now I just realized I need something like my skin tone. I'm going to take this coconut milk from Nabla. So I'm just going to prime my eyes, take some brushes and I will see if I can recreate this look. So I want to do like light pink in my crease as normal. Maybe I should pop the picture. So a light pink in my crease as normal and then I want to take a bright pink in my inner corner and then take a little bit of a darker pink just in here and then fade it out to the color that I think I would put down first. So I'm going to start out with this coconut milk from Nobla and just take it all over my lid because I think I want to set like the whole my whole eyeshadow base and this feels strange I can't like even remember when I did this the last time like setting my whole eyeshadow base I usually just go in with the colors but yeah and I don't know if I did make a video on this look I don't think so and this was before I switched over to English, so I don't think I did a video on this. Maybe I should have looked it up first, but I don't think I did. Like this reminds me of when I started to do makeup, this was like the way you were supposed to do, like set your whole eyeshadow base and then go in with the more fun colors and that's like what I did in the beginning. So okay, I think, or I know that I will take this one like in my inner corner to have it pop in, so I think I will take this one in my crease and I will start in here and go outwards because I don't want it to be all the way out. And this maybe is a little bit more purple, but this is a purple and pink look. So we'll start in here. This feels so strange to start like in the wrong corner of the eye. Okay. 
I think I did kind of a similar look with unintentionally with the, the Soul Blooming palette from Nobla when I did have a Nobla week. I did a palette bingo and it was like it didn't go my way but the look turned out pretty good in the end. So I can actually leave that video up there. Okay. And I think the look is going to need the under eyes. But you know me, I do my lids first, then my base, and my under eyes. And I need to save a little bit of space for the inner corner highlight or the inner corner shade, but I think I just can have that over because it's so bright, so I think it will really show. And do you even see this? Maybe I should lower the lighting a little bit. So okay, I did lower the lights a little bit more. <laughs> um, we just have to... Uh, for today we just have to live with this. So I'm taking a fluffier brush. Okay, I, I need to look at the picture. Even though I think I know what I want to do, but I still want to... Check up a bit. So I will start with this one and take it... kind of part big part of my lid but I will start with it in here it feels so strange feels like I'm doing something wrong okay, maybe I just want it like that so far kind of good so I'm going in with a lighter shade coconut milk and Blending it a little bit to get with purple. Now I'm going in with the darkest shade and I take a smaller blush brush. I take a smaller brush. And I'm going to try to just have it right in my inner corner. Like doing a halo, but I'm not doing a halo. I'm just putting a dark shade in my in the inner part of my lid and I'm just going to try to stamp this on a little bit. So I don't want this to be too dark. I'm going in with a lighter purple. Do you know what? I actually think I like this look. And I think that my blend is much better this time around <laughs> than the first time. It's a bit hard to see, like, zooming in on an Instagram picture. And I just want to go in with my crease shade again, so the lighter pink. Just in here. Because it felt like the darkest purple took over a little bit. I'm just going in with the brush that I had the lightest shade on. This is my skin tone shade. And you know what? I think this looks good. I think it looks kind of cool, but it's not like, it's not the dark colors, so it doesn't look super off. I think it looks cool that it's lighter, that it's like the other way around, because you usually have the lightest shade in your inner part of your lid. So I think this is looking good. So I will fix my base and my under eyes, and I will just try to take this lighter pink on my lower lash maybe like smudge it out and then take one of the purple ones and deepen it down like in here and then take this really really bright pink and pop it in my inner corner so I will fix that and then I come back and we will see if I like this look more than the old one so do I like 2018 better or 2021 we will see I didn't want to go with a really like bright purple lips so i took uh, this fantasy from linda harberg this is in garnet and i just like uh, tapped it on so it gets very sheer and in my waterline i took insomniac and this i took on the whole like lower lash 
And I do really like this look. I don't know if it shows in camera as good as it's doing in real life because it looks... I think in the camera it doesn't like... looks good for my eye shape. It feels like my eyes look smaller because it's only dark in here and light out here. But I really like how it looks. I think it's a cool look. But it's very like toned down. I... I am happy with this and I think I like this one more than this one the first look I did because I did blend better and also I have played with makeup three more years since I did this one so I think I did it better now and I do really like it maybe this isn't something that I'm going to do very often this like reversed is it reversed the other way around? But like do you light out on the outer lid and darker on the inner lid? But I really do like it. I think it looks really cool and it's not a dark look. It's a really light look, but I still, I still really like it. So I'm happy I did this again. And I'm liking this. It doesn't look like I have that much makeup on because I have hooded eyes so like <laughs> I usually take my eyeshadow kind of high up in my outer corner but now I don't have any eyeshadow in my outer corner so maybe it's not the best for my eye shape but I think it's a cool look. I have saved a lot other of my looks that I've done before and it has been fun to do to see like how much I have evolved, hopefully, <laughs> and just trying and I'll look at it because it's not often that I do like the same look twice. But yeah, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to stop this video so I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!